Enemy warship. This is Indian Navy, sentinels of the vast maritime interests of the nation. Whether it is on the surface, underwater or in the air. If it is a threat, the Indian Navy has the capability to neutralize it. A force operating at the cutting edge of technology the Indian Navy has wholeheartedly embraced the Government of India's initiative of Make in India. The Navy has indigenously developed aircraft carriers, destroyers, submarines, anti-submarine warfare corvettes, as well as the nation's first indigenous floating dock. With a view to enhance self-reliance further, the Indian Navy invites the Indian defense manufacturing industry to work with it in developing the latest technology required for maritime operations. Participation of the defense manufacturers is invited in the fields of mine countermeasures. When a mine threat is suspected in an area, the Indian Navy would deploy autonomous surface vessels Installed with synthetic aperture sonars and capable of launching remote operating vehicles that would be used for detection, classification and neutralization of the mines. Autonomous Surface Vessels ASV Synthetic aperture sonars ROV inspection ROV combat Anti-submarine warfare The Navy is looking to use high endurance autonomous underwater vehicles HEAUVs for patrolling the likely enemy submarine deployment areas The HEAUVs would deploy thin line arrays or flank arrays to detect underwater threats. Upon detection, airborne sonars would be used for validating the threats and neutralizing them with torpedoes. HEAUV would thin line arrays or flank arrays anti-drone systems in order to defend naval assets against swarm drone attacks the navy is looking to use anti-drone systems for detecting these drones on radars validating these drones using electro optic and infrared sensors and finally neutralize them using RF and GPS jammers and laser weapons. Anti-drone systems with radars, electro-optic sites, jammers and laser weapons. Machinery systems. Similarly, in the field of engineering systems, participation of the defense manufacturers is invited for indigenization of gas turbine generators. Installed in the engine rooms of the Delhi class destroyers, these gas turbines supply stabilized power to these floating war machines. Anchor capstans. Installed on board the Indian Navy ships, these are used for lowering and hoisting the ship's anchors. They come with multipurpose bi directional speeds and braking systems. 
AC chilled water pump motors. They circulate chilled water between AC plants and heat exchangers. Coolant circulating pumps. Installed in diesel engines, these pumps are required for circulating the coolant. Main feed check valves for boiler feed systems. Electrohydraulic valves for ship systems. Turning valves or blowing valves for boilers. And butterfly valves for seawater, freshwater, and fuel systems. Maritime interdiction operations. Scramble, scramble, scramble. The Navy's Special Operations Team, the Marcos, carry out maritime interdiction operations in hostage-like situations. Some of the equipment required by the Marcos are Airdroppable ribs Combat freefall parachutes Accessories like helmets, goggles, jumpsuits, and altimeters. Flexible ladders. Automatic launcher mechanisms. Assault weapons that come with night vision and thermal sight gear and IR lights. And personal gear. Night vision and thermal sight gear. Waterproof bags. IR lights and quality protection gear. The Navy also needs indigenous manufacturing of equipment for explosive ordnance disposal equipment. In addition to the requirements projected, there are multiple systems used on board naval platforms which are required to be indigenized. We look forward to working with the budding entrepreneurs of Indian defense industry. For further queries, please contact us on 5500-5500.